Okay guys, so here is the prompt asking uh, for to configure new server. So I'm going to select all defaults. Now you can specify your sidebase. This node 2 is the basically the host name. Uh, I'm going to change it. I'm going to say sidebase. Uh, sidebase 01. And I'm going to give a password. The default port, this would be the location, the page size. And basically you can select if you want to optimize it, like uh, you can specify the memory configuration and number of CPUs and stuff. If you like, you can, I want uh, to create sample databases. It's just a warning that older version had two KB page size. So I'm gonna change and now we are getting a memory error. So I, I cannot allocate 1637 MB. Okay, I'm gonna select And I believe it should change it all by itself, but I'm gonna limit the memory here because I don't, I don't have much memory in the system. Anyway, so this, this is where you can create the device for the databases. And I will also create, enable the PCI and uh, it will uh, create a device for that as well. So I'm gonna click next. And this is basically the backup server location and name I'm gonna just hit next uh, hit next XP server I don't I'm installing on a server so it's not gonna work anyways this is a job scheduler agent um, so this is self-management username and configure UDP to connect to the Sybase and this is uh, these are the ports that will be used for Sybase control center. I'm gonna click next. This is the RMI port number. And I'll have to specify the passwords here. So I want to run the con control center as a service. If you select no, then you can run it uh, through by executing a batch file. So basically it has uh, started the installation. So now it's gonna execute the scripts all by itself um, to create the procedures and stuff, procedures and uh, objects in the databases. Uh, so it's gonna take uh, Sometimes, so I will have to pause this video.